What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another action figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Kaiju number eight, Mina Ashiro, whose name sounds vaguely similar to another character from another anime, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started diving right into the sexy packaging. Now the box is fairly similar to what we've already been getting from this line. The only difference is this package has a slight bit lack of color, unlike the first two. Kaiju number eight and Reno both had a bit of a hint of blue to their boxes, while this one is white. Then of course you do have all of the paneling images along the sides here. You got the window where you can see the figure looking really good. I said it before, this figure looks much better in person than it did in the promo images. We've got an angry photo of her right there on the front it says kaiju number eight at the bottom tamashi nations bandai quality sticker of approval at the top nothing going on at the bottom we've got an image of her getting ready to blast away a kaiju full body image of her on this side nothing much going on on this side except for this kind of faded out image right here as well as her name and then of course on the back you've got some poses you can get the figure into some of the accessories and then a bunch of stuff at the bottom i can't read because this was imported i did pick this up from amiyami if you plan on getting your hands on it so yeah Go look for it. I'm sure it's still in stock. Now, straight out of the package, this figure is a direct follow-up from the very last release. That was Reno Ichikawa. Now we have Mina, who looks just as good as Reno, man. It's pretty much the same exact feel because of the fact they're wearing the same uniform, but obviously it's a completely new body, completely new head sculpt because it is a new character. Now, I really want to put emphasis on the fact that this figure looks good man those promo images just did not sell me on the head sculpts and i really just bought it out of the fact that i wanted to complete the line but it looks so good now that i have it here in front of me so i just want to make sure to clarify that because i did see a lot of people saying that the faces look kind of off something didn't look right this is one you just gotta get your hands on in order to understand because some people could still be watching this review thinking the same exact thing but overall i think it's a very decent look looking figure but enough of that let's go ahead and take a closer look at it so we can examine those details further now taking a closer look at her i'm not going to examine the details way too much because i've already pretty much gone over this figure it's ideally the exact same figure we got with reno again i want to zoom in on this head sculpt man just take a look at that the eyes look really good and i never realized they were red i thought that they were brown um, and then also, I never noticed the two moles under her eyes. I don't think they're moles. They might be like, um, I don't know, beauty marks. That she, I, nah, I don't know. She doesn't seem like the type of person to draw on beauty marks. So we're just going to say they're moles. Anyway, she's got the uh, little hair clip right there helping her bangs. Uh, she does have the ponytail that is on the swivel. We got the logo right there of whatever this group is called. I don't remember. I'm just going to call them the Scouts. Uh, we've got the Scouts logo right there. Uh, the rest of the body is pretty much armored up just like Reno. Um, there's really no differences here whatsoever. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab him. Um, it just goes to showcase everyone pretty much has the same exact uniform. Obviously, she's a little bit slimmer, and then they had to do the chest plates a little bit different, but everything else is ideally the exact same. There's almost no differences here whatsoever. Even the back of these figures look the same. So, yeah, a uh, very good looking figure. Uh, Tamashi Nations basically stepped into familiar territory, which is what it looks like they're going to be doing with the next couple of releases. Uh, because I think we've got actually we've got Shinomiya next and then we've got Kaiju number nine I believe there's other characters that I want to see in this line but so far it's starting off pretty strong for me but it does have some problems which we'll cover a little bit later now, anyway let's go ahead and put her back and see how tall she stands when it comes to the height of this figure to the top of her head, she is right at about, she's pushing six inches, but she's right above five and a half. So I think she's right where she needs to be. Of course, we'll do some size comparisons a little bit later to see how she stacks up with the other figures in the line. Articulation wise, she looks 
up not very much at all because the hair is going to touch the back of the neck she's not going to look or well, she can look forward but just keep in mind you're going to be bending those bangs so you don't want to do that too much or they will be warped she does get really good tilt turn uh her head moves around just fine so that's really good arms do go up and out about that much shoulder plates not really getting in the way at all so that's good when it comes to bringing them in she can bring them all the way in and that's going to help for whenever she's holding on to her blaster she does have a bicep swivel she does have double jointed elbows that bend in all the way so that's good right there can't complain about that hands are on a ball peg but they are going to be limited by this wrist piece right here moving on to the diaphragm um this is all you get that is all you get no real going back no real no going forward at all uh really no rocker we're just gonna say that's non-existent too at the waist you do get a little bit of swivel not the most uh you can turn it all the way but then i don't know it just it still doesn't work the best i wish they would have fixed that the gun is still Hosted on a ball peg right here so that is really good you can pop it off and then you just tuck it back in whenever you put it on these are also on ball pegs as well so you can move those around especially for when you have her in action like she's diving into battle or something you can kind of have them blowing back in the wind so that's cool i'm glad that they did that she kicks forward about that much kicks back about that much she does the splits about that much uh, she does have a thigh swivel double jointed knees that are very effective foot goes down about that much up about that much very very good ankle rocker and then she does have a toe hinge so articulation wise again everything is great except for the fact that the torso is super limited and then also uh this piece right here came off i never realized this was on a ball peg but you just kind of pop it back on there like that and then there you go so that's good i'll probably put it on backwards but yeah anyway let's put her back take a look at her accessories now when it comes to accessories she doesn't come with a whole lot but she does come with more than reno i believe so there is that first off she comes with a neutral head sculpt and a pair of fist hands right out of the packaging second of all she comes with this kind of neutral isk uh i don't know more um I guess a little happy face. I mean, she's supposed to be the badass of the series, so she can't smile too much. But she comes with kind of like this peaceful look that she gives Kafka. Uh, and then she comes with this really sick, angry face. That Come on now, that's what we're doing right now. Anyway, let's stand her back up. I'm not going to redo this. Uh, anyway, <laughs> she comes with this really cool, angry face. This is definitely my favorite faceplate for sure. Then she comes with this faceplate that is attached to this uh, piece right here that I didn't even realize uh, was a part of her. That's weird. Uh, but I thought this came off, but I guess it doesn't. This is for when she's really locked in and she about to blow a kaiju brain out. So we got that. She does come with another face for kaiju number eight. Uh, nothing really special about this. It's completely identical to the first one that we've gotten. Uh, I guess he's looking to the side a bit more, but for the most part, it's the same. So I think they could have went with a different expression for our build a figure but that's just me uh she does come with two hands for holding her weapon and then she does come with uh two relaxed hands as well and when it comes to her weapon that bad boy is a beast yo let's move her out of the way uh here it is right here we've got the t 25 10 1985 you got caution right there and it really looks like they wrote a lot of stuff on there uh, it's obviously 3d printing but it looks like there's words on there it'd be crazy if someone tried to read that uh it does say danger right there so that's cool uh, the weapon looks really good, man. I, I really dig this weapon here. And then she also comes with the missile that uh, is detachable. It comes detached, and then you just kind of plug it on there like so. So there you guys go, and that is cool. And then she also comes with a stand for holding the weapon because obviously it's going to make her too front heavy. And if you pose her with it, unless you've got her standing perfectly, she's going to fall forward. So decent amount of accessories. I can't think of anything else that I could ask for. Moving on to some size comparisons. Here she is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Kaiju number eight, AKA Hibi no Kafka. We also have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Reno Ichikawa and then the SH Figure Arts Naruto Top 99, Sakura Haruno.
Moving on to some Figmas. Here she is standing next to some Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness figures. We have her standing next to the Figma Yuta Okotsu. We have her standing next to the GOAT himself, Satoru freaking Gojo. And then we also have her standing next to Yuji Itadori. And lastly, for some extras, here she is standing next to the SH Figure Arts One Piece, Monkey D. Luffy, the SH Figure Arts Tekken 8, Jin Kazama, which I just reviewed. Go check that out if you haven't already. And then we also have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Spy Family, Mama, Your Forger. Now, when it comes to my final thoughts on this figure, ideally, if you have your hands on Reno, then you pretty much know exactly what to expect. This is one of those figures where it feels exactly like another figure, and the only thing that's really going to set them apart is the new head sculpts and new accessories. And for some people, that can be a plus. Some people, that can be a big minus. Uh, it's really up to you, man. You know what to expect when you're buying figures of characters that, for the most part, wear the same outfits. I've been saying for the longest, a lot of the Dragon Ball figures feel the exact same. They're reusing the Goku mold, and I just kind of burned out on it. When it comes to this one here in particular, maybe if they updated it a little bit to make some things better, I would have been more excited about it, but it still has that horrible mid torso that i'm just not a fan of hopefully with shinomiya they fix that or if not with her then maybe the future releases but as it stands i mean it's a cool figure it's nothing spectacular once again but because of the fact that i really enjoy this anime i had to buy it i'm just going to complete this line for as long as it lasts uh but i do want some more characters man i really want to see them make some more characters now that we got shinomu uh shinomiya and uh kaiju number eight up for pre-order i'm really hoping that next they make hibino or my guy with the swords now for whatever reason his name escapes me but i would love to get a figure of him uh after that i don't know man the rest of the characters kind of feel like fodder to me they have some cool moments but i don't really particularly care for them like that i would love to get shinomiya's father that dude is really dope um and then some other powerhouses that are going to be making an appearance in the series guys if you're not watching kaiju number eight definitely go check it out if you've watched kaiju number eight and you like it i'm gonna tell you guys right now you have no idea what's coming man because whoo that most recent chapter was crazy but that's not what we're here to talk about overall i hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep all of my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye